The title is not clickbait. As soon as I'm done filming this, the SV06 is going back in the packaging and I'm getting rid of it. I guess that's how it goes sometimes. So recently I did a video about the Sovel SV06, a brand new printer that's in pre-order from Sovel. During that live stream, I built the machine and started a first print. And at the time of that filming, I was actually really impressed by this machine. It assembles in about 20 minutes or less. And the printable area on this is a little bigger than the original Ender 3 at 220, 220 by 250 millimeters. It has a 32-bit silent board that's housed back here in the case. And this thing is actually very quiet while it's printing. The hot end that Sovel put together for the SV06 is all metal and it uses a metal planetary gear direct drive extruder and it's capable up to 300 degrees Celsius. Out of the box, it comes with touchless bed leveling, very similar to the Easy ABL from TH3D. And it's actually pretty fast with the stock firmware as it hits its 25 automatic bed leveling points on the bed. When it's laying down plastic, it drops on a textured PEI flexible build plate that comes stock on this printer. I really like the textured build plate. I just wish it was double-sided, uh, but this particular one is single-sided, but still very nice. It has a dual Z axis, as you can see here, with dual motors to keep that Z in sync with each other, and it keeps the X axis nice and stable. Belt tensioners are very common, especially in 2022, and the Sovel SV06 does not disappoint in that category either. It does have belt tensioners on the X and the Y axis. It makes it super easy to tighten and loosen the belts to keep them just perfect. The screen on the SV06 is not a touch screen, but that's okay. It is very responsive, the UI looks great, and it works very well right out of the box. I'm gonna interrupt really quick just to say, if you're getting value from today's video, please smash that like button. It really helps the video get spread out through the community and passed on to more people who wanna see it. And if you have not already, I invite you to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and awesome tutorials, which I have more of coming very soon. So far, I've talked about a bunch of really cool features that the SV06 has right out of the box. But I gotta say, one big thing you'll notice about this printer is it does not have V-slots and wheels like most of the i3 clones do. Um, this one actually runs on these rails here just like a Prusa would. And as long as you keep them uh, nice and greased, you shouldn't have any issues. Actually, I think there are many people out there who prefer rails over V-slots and wheels, uh, but I know there's some people who like wheels better but I really do like this. It makes it quiet, everything runs really smooth, and I actually really like that they use that. All right, here we go. Hey everybody, Tim Edgelord here, and when I was recording this video, I didn't pay attention to my battery levels on my microphones, and my microphones died. The second half of this video doesn't have any audio, so I had to re-record like, I don't know, like a week later. So for those of you out there who were really good at Where's Waldo games when you were a kid, you'll notice that I'm wearing a different shirt. Wow. Phenomenal, back to the video. My favorite feature of the Sovel SV06 is that the machine will automatically align the Z axis. You turn it on, you go to the control panel, it raises up to the top and it hits the little stops right here and it levels out the Z on each side. Then you know your X axis is level because your Z is level. It's a super cool feature and I love to see that they included it on this machine. Next, you'll notice that the control box and the PSU are on the rails behind the printer. Uh, they're not underneath like we're accustomed to seeing these days, and this is the first printer I had this year where they were on the rails. Uh, it, there is probably room where they could have gone underneath, and I actually like this because it gives the SV06 quite a small footprint. Another thing is that all the prints that I've done on the Sovel SV06, I have not used their slicer or the profile that came with this. Um, I actually used Prusa Slicer, which is my slicer of choice. I jumped in, I grabbed the stock MK3S profile. I changed it or made a copy of it and I changed it to be the bed size of the SV06. I changed the retraction and I set the extrusion multiplier to one or made sure it was one. Um, other than that, nothing else. It's been printing really good and I just wanna say, Thanks to Taylor over uh, at Nero3D for that tip because he said that's what he did with a profile 
and it actually worked really good for me too. With that profile, I printed the Clock Spring uh, Resplendence vase. I think it's Resplendence or Resplendence vase. Um, this thing came out really nice. The layers are tight. There's a lot of different intricate spots in here and there's no gaps at all. Um, this might be my favorite new clock spring vase. Um, so check that out. There'll be a link in the description below. And this particular color is Cookie Cad uh, Sunrise if you wanna check out that. Um, but it came out really nice, very gorgeous print. And I mean, this printer just continues to wow me with everything I print on it. So now we talk about the part where I'm packing this printer up uh, and I'm shipping it out. Um, like I said, I'm getting rid of it and I'm actually very sad to do that. If you couldn't tell, I really don't want to get rid of this printer. Uh, I've been using it for a couple weeks and it's been solid, but there's something I can't ignore, something I came across and I can't say that for any other printer that I've tested this year at this price range. Uh, and, and for that reason, this thing has got to go. Okay, enough with the sad stuff. The reason why I have to get rid of this thing is because in my opinion, the Sovel SV06 is the best budget 3D printer that you can get in 2022, uh, that I've looked at in 2022. I can't think of another printer that's as good out of the box in this price range. And I know a maker that could really use this printer. This will be her first FDM printer. She does resin already and does some amazing work with resin. But because I trust this thing so much, I am packing my up and I'm shipping it to her. So if you're on Instagram, go find and follow little underscore house underscore of underscore lights and check out all the awesome stuff that she's doing and in her community with resin printing already. It is really cool, some of the stuff that she makes. I honestly can't wait to see what she does with an FDM printer, especially one that prints as good as this. And if you're looking for the best printer, in my opinion, of 2022, check this video out right here.